Lakers, just incredible. DJ, oh, yeah. Sour Milk, and our brother from across the pond, man. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? I'm interested to hear this one. I've been hearing some buzz about it. And, you know, Central C, he's a he's a good guy to have come over and do the crossover. You know, he's got a lot of buzz right now. And he's got the lyricism, in my opinion, to go with it. I know some people hate on Central, but I think he's talented. So, you know, more Americans need to be put onto the UK scene. I know for, for me, for like the last year or two, most of the music I listen to is from the UK, honestly. So <laughs> more of my fellow Americans need to get on the wave. There's a lot of talent, a lot of talent in the UK. West London is here. West side to the West End. The UK is touched down in the States. Oh, boy. Inside. Central C is in Los Angeles. Come on, man. Come on. He came to the LA League. Ice game looking crazy. Good show to go crazy and Come drop on. some bars Come on, on y'all. Let's get it. You think I'm the one that can bridge the gap? I came to LA to work, but first, where the bitch is at? They're telling me power the highlight room. If you want to go true, but I bring the strap. Okay. No way could I trust these hoes. I'm taking yeah. their phone if we bring them back. I don't want to get done like nah. They don't understand, I'm giving them UK slang, my brother, my fam, my act. You say the feds just done asleep, we say the boy them running my gaff. You say on God no cap, we say swear on your life, don't gas. You say spin the block, we say jump out and slide and crash. You call it machine, we call it a mash. Strip club and they're shaking ass, but in my words, they're shaking yash. We don't trap in abandoned buildings, shots get hit out of big. Yo, I like what he's doing here, contrasting the slang. To flats. In other words, apartments, hidden compartments get detached. Free all the members that got back. You say what's up, we say well gone. Got shotguns on my farm, we don't eat pork, we say it's haram. We call her shorty, we call her John. Sexy girl and we call them Len. Back then we would call them Peng. Their words that we got for guns, like wax and skengs. You call them Jays, we call them cats. There's not much crystal meth, my hood's got junkies hooked on crack. Mm. Flick knives, we call them nanks. Zombie killers, we call them ZK's Rambo knife by the name of Rams. We say cash, peas, rats, cheese. We don't really call them fans. In a lit. Yo, this is hard. This is this is like some next level shit he's doing here, contrasting the two slangs. I'm, I'm gonna let it play, but I'll get into it more in the final thoughts. Like this is this is some big brain shit he's doing. It is escalates in the ends, it's Mercedes vans. Watch my back, I'm paranoid. That's what I mean when I say that I'm prank. Clench my fist and I piss bump, man. Anti-social, I don't shake much hands. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, it depends. You say the trenches, we say the ends. Chris Rich. Just. I said it before and I'll say it again. I'll say it again. This ain't New York, no, this ain't Chicago, this is the end. Three of my friends. Oh, of my we say yo, we say you lot. You say restroom, we say toilet. Do you have guns, but they might be. So man, pull it apart and oil it. If a man violates, say a man boil it. Live yours in a gang, can't join it. We both with crap the same. We fill up the pirates pot and boil it. In London, I'm verified. In NY, I'm valid. Mm. 12 hours away, I'm MIA. I can pull up on London, I'm verified. In NY, I'm valid. Mm. 12 hours away, I'm MIA. I can pull up on DJ Khaled. Yo. It's only an hour away from the ends. That's why I spend time in Paris. If I pull up on Saturday night, I ain't coming to tour. This ain't Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> I just pulled up with a chick, bro. Said that he hit. I'm a bit embarrassed. Who <laughs> she's getting his dick and chick for Larry and eating salmon. <laughs> I might hit one time and vanish. I got unlimited funds on the Amex. One day I'm in a block in London. Next day I'm chilling in the sun on a hammer. Huh. Controversy sold. I said, How can I rip my kids? And they flew off the show. Thinking, should I go with a label or stay independent and do it myself? Hey. Sat down with a boss and said, I ain't signed up, bro. I ain't new to deals. Uh, hey. Stood outside of the night. I knew the deals. Okay. Sat down with a boss and said, I ain't signed up, bro. I ain't new, new to, to deals. deals. Uh, stood outside of the nightclub. Try made a trap line kick like black club. All of my trip from road, they all drive ain't none of this shit from China. I don't want no black. Ooh, that's cold. That's cold, especially with them in LA. Black club. All of my trip from road, they all drive ain't none of this shit, shit from, from China. China. Yo, yo, <laughs> that is dope. Hey, the trap line kick that black club. All of my trip from road, they all drive ain't none of this shit, shit from, from China. China. I don't want no black. I need me a yard food, so I'm in Inglewood. Dog them. Mm. My dog them serve like Wimbledon My dog them smart like Beethoven I'm from where the Jack boys active fam Don't sleep with your window open Hoes gone line man up and get a commission That shot give a gal grip that hit that impact like a collision I don't care if I'm giving a low Tell Ruby Rose that I'm in the addition Hey <laughs> Okay. That boy, man. Yeah. Tell Ruby Rose. Here, man. Central C. Touch yeah, it LA down. Lakers, baby. You know what it is, man. Central C. New song Doja going crazy Woo. right now. Woo. LA Lakers. Hey, shout to the UK, man. This is live from Los Angeles. Yes. Power 106. LA's number no one for hip hop. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about this one for a second. Pretty straightforward freestyle, some good punchlines in there, some funny lines. He did his thing. It was really, really smart though that he contrasted the slang because I can tell you as an American myself, 
And as someone who tries to show a lot of UK music to friends, usually the two things they get hung up on is number one, the accent, and number two, the slang. So the accent is just one of those things that you have to keep listening and you start to um, start to forget about it. It's not it's not a big deal anymore. And I don't even know why it is a big deal to start with. I don't know why that's a thing. It was even a thing for me originally, too. I think it's just when you grow up in the U.S., you grow up listening to U.S. hip hop, you get used to hearing a certain voice type. So when you hear an accent from another country, I don't know, it just it just throws you off in a way to where it's not what you're normally used to. So it can be hard to get past that sometimes. It actually reminds me of like foreign films. You know, a lot of Americans won't watch foreign films. And there was somebody, I think it was like a director or a cinematographer. I wanna look up the quote, I'll post it in the edit here uh, when I edit this, but he said something along the lines of, if you can get past the subtitles and you'll open yourself up to a whole world of cinema. It kind of reminds me of, of that with music. If you can get past accents or, you know, different sounding voices from other countries or other slang, it'll open up a whole new world of music i i do know some people that you know the accent isn't a big deal for them but they get lost in the slang you know they're like what does buying mean you know what does skang mean like what do what do all these things mean so for him to introduce himself to a lot of americans by contrasting the slang and introducing them to that is is huge i think that's i think it's a really really smart idea making his debut on a show like this in the heart of la and doing that was again like i said a really a big brain move I think it makes him a lot more relatable to Americans that can start to understand the music a bit. So if they go listen to his music, they'll start to understand more of the more of the slang, more of the culture, more of the lyricism and all that and appreciate it. The question now is, will somebody like Central C ever become fully mainstream in the American scene? I don't know. Like I said, Americans have like a weird hang up a lot of the time with accents, slang and other cultures and things like that. So it's hard to fully picture that. I think he's got the, the capability and the ability to do it. It's just, you know, would an American market accept that? I don't know. It's hard to say. I would hope so. I would hope so. I want to see the UK artists succeed over here, you know, and get more money and, and expand their horizon. You know, I've seen some people say, does it even matter for a UK artist to expand into the American scene? Do they really need to? Like, why do they need the approval of Americans? And they really don't. You know, they really don't need the approval of Americans. You know, you can you can have a successful career in the UK, make plenty of money and live happily ever after. <laughs> you know, it's just that growing into the American scene just opens up more money opportunities, more fame opportunities, sponsorships, deals, things like that. So it would be a plus because of how big the economy is over here, but I don't think it's really necessary. You know, I, I don't, I don't like to, I don't, I don't like to take artists from other countries and say they have to fit the American mold to reach the ultimate success. That's just not true. They can, they can reach the highest levels of success without necessarily becoming mainstream in the American scene. So I don't think they have to assimilate into our scene or whatever. And sometimes I think it's too forced and sometimes it's best if they don't, you know, even artists here that go mainstream, sometimes it just waters down the products and ruins who they are. You know, they lose that original authenticity of when they weren't so mainstream and so big in the spotlight here. And so I don't, I don't know if it's just the ultimate goal, if it's the ultimate achievement for a UK artist to cross over and become mainstream. Like, I guess it is from a credential standpoint. I guess you could look at it and be like, wow, he crossed over, you know, across the Atlantic and, and blew up in the, in the biggest music market in the world, you know, the biggest economy in the world or one of the biggest economies in the world. And, uh, you know, that's a big achievement on paper, but what does it do to their sound? You know, what does it do to the culture that they're a part of? You know, what does it do to them overall as an artist? Does it make them better or does it make them worse? You know, I don't know. So anyway, just a few thoughts on that because I see discussions about this and like certain artists going clear in the US and all that. It's not a huge deal to me personally if an artist comes over here or not. You know, I, I'm perfectly fine with them dominating the UK scene because <laughs> there's a lot of things about the American music scene that's just not great either. Uh, dope freestyle overall from Central C. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments, favorite bars, anything that stood out to you. How do you think about him approaching this? Do you think that he will ever become fully mainstream in the US? Or what do you, where do you see this going? Do you, do you guys even care? <laughs> what, what's your view on UK artists coming over to the, to the American scene? You know, let me know in the comments and uh, let me know any of your requests. And yeah, about wraps this one up. I will see you guys in the next one.